Hello everybody, BTM here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, since caring is sharing in this video, I'm going to show you how to share your contacts with iOS 18. Let's check it out. In this video, I'm going to show you eight easy ways to share contacts with your iPhone using iOS 18. Now, in order for you to truly benefit from this, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to update your iOS on your iPhone to 18 and later. So first, let's start with the contact app. This is the quickest way to share contacts directly from your phone. So here's how to do it. You're going to go to your contact app on your phone, and of course you're going to tap on it. And then you're going to choose the contact that you want to share. I'm going to share the Fat Boys. So I'll hit Fat Boys. And then you scroll down to the bottom where it says Share Contact. Tap that. And you hit Done. And now your share shelf will pop up, and you choose which way you want to share it either email messages whatsapp or whatever so with this one i'm going to simply share i'm gonna pick a person to share with so i'll hit boom shakalaka and then just push the arrow to send it and boom there you go all right number two next up we have airdrop if you're sharing contact with someone nearby who also has an Apple device, AirDrop is a fast wireless way to do it. Here's how to do it. Tap on your contact. Choose the contact that you want to share with. Tap share contact. Hit done. Then choose AirDrop. Now when you choose AirDrop, you gotta make sure that someone else is around you and their, their airdrop is on. And when their airdrop is on, you'll notice that it's gonna come up on your screen and you simply tap it. It's waiting to send and it's gonna send to that person. And that person simply hit save. It's gonna tell you it was sent. And boom, shakalaka, you have sent your contact using airdrop hey so next up we're going to share contacts via messages it's another easy option especially if you're sending it to someone who might not have an apple device and again the way you do it go to your contact tap on the contact that you want to send tap share contact hit done and then choose messages now type in the name or number that you want. And then tap send. And boom, shakalaka, the message is sent via your text messages. <music> Tip number four. If email is your preferred method of communication, you can also share contacts via mail. Here's how to do it. Tap on contacts. Tap on the person or the contact that you want to send. Tap on share contact. Tap done. Go down to the bottom, tap mail. And then tap the address. And then type in a message if you wish. And then tap send. Boom. Now you have sent it via email. And this is the perfect method if you're sharing with someone who's not close by. Now, one of the coolest new features of iOS 18 is Name Drop. This lets you share your contact information just by bringing the two phones together. But in order for this to work, you gotta make sure that Name Drop is turned on in your settings. And the way you do that is very simple. You go to settings, then you go to general, 
Then you go down to where it says airdrop and you make sure bringing a device together is toggled on. And you also make sure that your contacts is on, either contacts only or everyone for 10 minutes, your choice. And make sure it's on the other phone. All right, then we're gonna go back. We're going to tap contacts, hit done. And just take the phones, bring them together slowly but surely, and boom. And like magic, you now have shared this contact with your other phone. All the person has to do is accept it. Tip number six, iOS 18 gives you more control over how your contacts are shared with apps so you can keep your information private. Here's how you do that. You go to settings and then you scroll down to where it says privacy and security and tap on it. Then you tap on any app that requests your contacts. So I tap on contacts, say Google Photos, and you tap limited access. And that's going to limit the access to whichever names you put on it. Say I'll limit the access to the first name on the list. Hit done. Now you have created a privacy buffer for your contacts. Now, tip number seven, let's talk about synchronizing contacts with iCloud. This ensures that your contacts are backed up and available on all of your devices. And see, so here's how you do that. Go to settings, tap on your name, tap on iCloud, tap on backup, and make sure backup to this iPhone is set up. Then go down to where it says contacts, and make sure that this is toggled on. And there you have it. Now you will be sync with all of your contacts on all of your devices. And here's the final tip. Number eight, use Siri to send a QR code as a contact. Here's how to do it. Hey Siri, create a QR code. Choose the QR code that you want to create. So I'll hit add contact. Choose the contact. Hit done. The QR code is saved into your photos. Tap your photo, tap the code, and then tap share. And then you can send it to anyone you want to send it to. So that's it for today. Now we hope that these eight ways to share contact with iOS 18 makes it easier for you to stay connected with people that matters the most. Now if this video helped you or if it didn't help you, that one up there might.